Well, hello everyone. I'm back. How are you all? Have you had a nice Christmas? I had a fantastic Christmas. I Today's the 6th of January. Actually, it's already the 7th of January. I'm recording this late at night because I'm still suffering from jet lag and to me it's the middle of the day. But uh, a very quick video just to catch up with you and uh, to uh, before I start with my usual videos, you know, my, my stories, my recollections, my uh, readings and my books and so on, I just thought that I would catch up with you and I wish you all a very happy new year, a very prosperous one. Um, I had a fantastic holiday in the United States in San Diego. I went to see my daughters and uh, my heart is, is full, full of joy and full of anguish, uh, you know, when you have to leave them and come back to your daily routine. And uh, I'll just share with you some experiences. Um, <clears throat> the main one was that they didn't tell me this, but uh, my other daughter who lives in the state of Colorado, the she was supposed to join us and uh, spend Christmas with us, but um, unfortunately they didn't tell me this. Uh, the day before I left, she had an accident. It's uh, She's fine, um, but it was one of those, um, I was going to say silly accidents. You know, Colorado is... Um, uh, snows a lot and is um, snowy and icy and right outside the front door she slipped and uh, fell with the unfortunate outcome that her knee went straight to the edge of the, the corner of the step there so we thought that she had broken her kneecap but uh, it was not that it was the tendon she couldn't move her leg <coughs> she was um, it was extremely painful obviously she was operated on and uh, it went very well one hour outpatients she was she went back home on the same day and uh, um, she will regain um, the full movement of the leg within two or three weeks uh, they told her that uh, in three weeks she will probably regain uh, she will she will be able to bend her knee sort of 70 percent uh, of, of the way and uh, she she will make full recovery so everything went well but she couldn't join us anyway long story but she's fine she's fine um my other daughter oh my goodness i'm so proud of her so good and so generous of heart she gave me i don't know how many things she gave me i like this she gave me that <laughs> She took me everywhere. She planned an outing um, every day. I went everywhere in San Diego. I went to the zoo. I went to Balboa Park. I went to the desert. There's a wonderful museum of statues of um, animals. And <coughs> I went to Hotel del Coronado. Coronado is Coronado Island. And the name of the hotel was is... Um, Hotel del Coronado of the Coronado Island, but they just call it the Hotel del, <laughs> and uh, that is when uh, they, that is where they filmed the famous movie Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon, Some Like It Hot, right there in that. If you if you if you have seen the the film, and you should because it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, but. Uh, in the 50s but there it was that hotel that beach and so on so we were there anyway i i just i just went everywhere and i went on a boat beautiful day there in san diego bay and um, beautiful blue skies and she just sent me a whole bunch of pictures over 50 pictures that uh, she took and uh, anyway so <clears throat> I had a wonderful Christmas and uh, a, a wonderful New Year uh, celebrations and um, and everything was fine and then I was back and uh, I cried 
during the journey back i just my my heart was was full of um, anguish and uh, when i came back home and i started unpacking i i had all these wonderful gifts that she gave me have this have that have the other thing and, and anyway and uh, a piece of the cake one of the cakes that she had made and here i was <clears throat> Oh dear, I put all the gifts that she gave me on my table here and I sat down and ate the cake that she had baked and I was just crying. What do you want? <laughs> I think I cried my way to sleep that, that night, last night. And um, anyway, I'm fine now. I was uh, talked to her and uh, everything is... is, is, is little by little going back to normal. I hope you had a, a happy Christmas yourself and a happy new year. You know what I found? I found that it is possible in America to be somewhat disconnected with the rest of the world. Um, I, 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 I wasn't, obviously it was the holidays, I suppose that that has a lot to do with it, but I found that um, I wasn't fully connected with the rest of the world um, and uh, I had my books and things but uh, I, I felt that a little bit um, isolated f from the rest of the world. Um, we hear many times that Americans, you know, when they vote their governments, uh, they, they do it on domestic policies and, and so on not so much on foreign policies um, and I think that's quite possible um, it it does not what is happening in the world does not seem to they don't seem to be as connected perhaps as we are in other parts of the world I don't know whether that's good or bad of course I'm generalizing, yes, because I think that many Americans are now beginning to realize the influence that their government's uh, foreign policy has in the rest of the world and they are catching up on that. In any case, that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> I will go on to uh, discussing politics later in other videos, but I just wanted to to catch up, as I said, and um, my my heart is is uh, is is full of joy for having seen them and having experienced my daughter's love again. Um, I think I have <coughs> rebonded with her, if that is the word. You know, when they're born, you 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 bond immediately with that little baby, and uh, then life goes on and. Um, I think that this being with her again, uh, it was a a second rebonding of of um, my my love for her. She's doing well. How generous she is! She's a wonderful hostess. She hosted a party for fifty people, organized everything, cooked, baked, um, went here, went there. It's just uh, wonderful. Uh, so now um, I'm full of joy and full of sorrow at the same time. It's a difficult uh, emotion to describe, but I'll be fine. I'll, I have been able to speak with her and um, I'll go back to my books and my videos, <laughs> I suppose. Um, epiphany it's uh, just uh, I don't know why or perhaps I do but I'm not sure <clears throat> why Epiphany the 6th of January is no longer celebrated in many countries uh, I just want to share with you that uh, this is not the case everywhere um, in my country of origin in Spain and in Spanish-speaking countries, 
it is very much celebrated. It's, uh, it's almost as, as much as Christmas Day. And that is because um, Epiphany, when the three wise men or the three kings um, visited um, the newborn babe, the Messiah, it, was, it, it is extremely important for Christians because that is when the three wise men or the three kings um, are there representing the Gentiles, the rest of us who were not who are not Jewish. In other words, the Messiah came not only for the Jewish people, uh, but for the for humanity. And so the three wise men were there representing us, as it were, the Gentiles. And it is a pity that is no longer celebrated. In my country of origin, in Spain, it is very much celebrated, as I said. And it is on the 6th of January that uh, presents and gifts are given to, to the children. Uh, not on Christmas Day, on Epiphany Day. <clears throat> I don't know why um, this is not celebrated in other countries. I fear that um, also that uh, New Year or New Year's Eve celebrations are becoming also more important than New Year, than Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, little by little. I suppose it's because of this secular world in which we are living in Western countries, uh, we're living in. and. Um, Little by little, the meaning of Christmas, we, we have known this for a long time, is being eroded. And it's just becoming a little bit of a, a, little bit of a farce, really, you know, uh, Santa Claus and all this. And we are missing the, the true meaning of Christmas. In any case, um, I'm back to following the news of what is happening in the world. I haven't kept up for the last two weeks. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to catch up and then perhaps I, I will do another video tomorrow. Or yes, tomorrow. I, I'm planning to, to do a video every day, perhaps at the same time, so that you can, you can uh, continue to follow me. And I'm very grateful if you have done so. I have been doing these videos for uh, a year now and um, I appreciate <coughs> you taking the time to watch them. In any case, I will... <coughs> don't know what's happening with my voice. I think it's nerves. I, <laughs> I was getting used to the videos and now I'm back to being sort of conscious that I'm speaking to a camera. In any case, okay, I will go back tomorrow to talk of something that hopefully is of interest to you. I, I hope you have had a wonderful Christmas. Um, and that's it. I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you again. Bye-bye.